Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. We are building a loft for those who live in small apartments and would like to maximize their space. Uh, first step would be to remove all of the clutter that surrounds your work environment so you can have the free space to work efficiently. Now this is perhaps the most important part. We need to measure up where we want the bottom of the loft to be. I chose six foot one because I can stand under it comfortably and it leaves me 49 inches from the ceiling, which is plenty of space to sit up in bed if I need to. Now we are leveling a line across all of those six foot one tick marks we put on the wall with a level. Make sure the level is good and not broken. You could really use a four foot level, but I only had my two foot level available, but it works just as fine as long as you're careful. Your benchmark should now look like this, and that will represent where the bottom of the perimeter two by sixes and joists will be. So on either side of an outlet, you can guarantee there will be a stud. I cut a hole, a tiny hole in the wall just to see what's going on in there, and I got a jack and a king stud next to each other. You can also use a stud finder, which makes things a lot easier, but if you don't have one, you can just measure 16 inches over from the outlet and screw screws into the wall. It helps finding the studs, but you'll end up with a bunch of tiny holes in the wall, so unless you have some spackle, I suggest getting a stud finder. Next, get your lumber. Because we're building a floating floor, we need 2x6s to build the floor. Now you want to cut your perimeter pieces to the measurements of your wall. My dimensions were 53 inches, 53 and a quarter inches for either side walls and 93 and a half inches for the back and front wall. Uh, in this video, I'm cutting the joists, which are 53 inches. Um, I don't have a video of me cutting the perimeter pieces. Put your perimeter piece up. We're going to tack it up there with some 3 inch screws and the studs that you marked out before. Uh, the three inch screws are just in there to hold it in place and make sure everything is level. So when you do go in with lag bolts, you will have a much stronger support. Now I'm using a circular drill bit to make the top of the bolt head flush with the rest of the two by four so nothing's sticking out. You don't necessarily need to do this but I just figured everything would be better if I did. Put your perimeter pieces up on both sides and you'll be good. Next, you're gonna get a bunch of Ticos from Home Depot or something. Make sure they're for two by sixes. Take a little cutout of two by six. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is rest it in the Tico and then have it flush with the top of your perimeter board so that you know everything on top will be sitting flat. Measure over from your first Tico about 16 inches so that we can be consistent. Screw it up there and hang your first joist. Continue the process until you have all of your Ticos lined up on either side of your perimeter boards. Put some more joists in and give them a little weight test and see if they're truly strong. Now that the Ticos are all in and the joists are all hung and screwed in, we're going to put our piece of finished plywood. I went with birch up on top. Uh, I didn't really need to cut much off of a 4x8 piece. I think I just had to cut like 
couple, I don't know, three and a half inches off the length, and it wasn't wide enough, so I got another piece of plywood and ripped it about a foot, and that's what this seam is. And uh, once you get them in place, you can get up top there and screw them down using inch and a quarter screws. And once that's all screwed down, you can get a finished piece of wood. I chose this dark wood to match the rest of my furniture. You can also get some stain and a paintbrush and paint the rest of it if you so choose. I'm not going to do that. And voila, I turned this little shelf into a ladder, while shoring up all the little shelves. And here's up top, and you throw your mattress up there, and you have a loft bed. Thank you.